Jigger Dave. Um, I asked myself the question once. Um, the question was, why would I ever change anything in my life? And I asked that question to myself when I was uh, 15. And the answer was, I wouldn't because I was happy. And at the end of the day, I didn't think that there was anything that could take away from my happiness at that moment. I had a, a loving family that gave me all the support, all the attention that I needed. I had friends, multiple friends. I had traveled the world. I played sport every week. I had the attention of the girls. I had everything that a teenager wanted to have at that age, right? And, you know, I always uh, had friends and family who were um, dedicated on some level to, to spirituality. But it wasn't attracting me. It wasn't pulling me. It wasn't my thing. And when I asked them why they got involved, when I was trying to find out, like, why, you know, why, why is it a thing for them? They all spoke to me about a time in their life when things weren't going out so well. Things weren't working the way they wanted them to work. And out of that sadness, out of that lack of happiness that they had in their life, they turned to spirituality. They turned to meditation and yoga and whatever else. And that was what um, got them started on that road. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, but I don't have any uh, reason to go looking for that stuff because I'm cool. I, I've got no, 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 no thing that is taking me away from my happiness. But then one day, I, uh, I met Shusami Shananda. And when I met him, I finally found out one thing that could make me change my life, that could make anybody change their life, even if they are happy, even if they have everything that they think they need in the world. And that was love, because the love that I felt from Swami Vishwananda was like no love I'd ever felt before. I had loving friends. I had loving family. My mother and father loved me immensely, but it did not compare. It does not compare to the love that I felt from him. And that was on a 15-minute meeting, a one-time meeting I had with him. And we spoke maybe for five minutes, and that was enough. It left an imprint in me. It left uh, a taste of something that when I try to go back to my old life, and I tried, you know, you fight with yourself for a little bit, but I tried to go back to that life and the things that used to bring me the most joy, going to play sport, hanging out with my friends, you know, all of that stuff, it paled in comparison. It didn't give me that satisfaction. It didn't fill that, that need in my life that, that he filled. And so that showed me how much love changes everything, the power of love. Because it is easy to change your life when you have nothing going for you, when you're down. From down, the only way is up. But what happens when you're already up? You know? And if you can find something that is going to change your life when you're already here to everywhere, endless, no limits, then take that chance, man. Take that because I never thought it was possible until he came knocking on my door. But, you know, it's a, a rare gift that he comes knocking on your door. And his doors here, Shripit and they're always open. So come and see him. Come and feel that love that I felt and it changed my life. Jay Gurdiv.